Hi guys, as you will have seen from the title of this video, I quit drinking alcohol for 500 days. So here is what I learned. In this video, I'm going to explain why I did it, what I learned, would I recommend it, and will I be continuing it. So just so you know, as a starter, like I didn't have a problem with alcohol, I wasn't an alcoholic. I'd probably drink um, once every other week or so, like casually going out with my mates, like having the odd beer or two. Um, that will, to be honest, that was probably once a month. Um, but with my girlfriend, we'd have a glass of wine or, you know, like with family, a couple of beers or something like that with dinner. So nothing extreme, um, which leads on to like why I did it in the first place. So... When I started out, um, I was actually personal training. I was heavy into fitness, obviously health and well-being. Um, and I was conscious of like, obviously, the additional calories you consume, the dehydration, the money I was spending on it because it was difficult. I was struggling to get an income as a personal trainer. But more so, the reason I was like, right, I'm just going to quit because this is a waste of time is because um, when I went through my psychosis and the meaning of that tattoo, which is the 12th of December 2019, I thought I was at my lowest and darkest point when I was secluded in the hospital I was sectioned in. So I basically I kicked off, refused medication, and at this lowest point on my arm, you probably just faintly see it there, I self-harmed for the first and only time of my life. Not proud of that, um, but that was a reflection. As soon as I did that, I had this instant like um, thought, like a switch in me that thought, okay, like I just sort of like became aware and awake. Um, and I had a bit of a realisation moment that I'm only in control of my own destiny. It might sound like cliche to say, and obviously that's, that's clear, but I thought, if, if this is my lowest and darkest point I've ever been to, what can I do to be happy, be fulfilled, be successful? Because obviously there are people out there. It's not just something you see in the movies. You hear it from people. Um, and at the time, I'd sort of, where I was in this dark place, before I was, I was trapped thinking, like, life's just so depressing. There is no way out. So what I made like a, a pact or commitment to myself to say, because I'm, I'm the only one in control of myself, I'm going to do everything that I can. Why not try and just give everything at just being successful and, and getting everything that, in life that I want to? So that, that was the start of it. I didn't, I didn't quit alcohol then, but that was the immediate like push to I'm going to give life, every, I'm going to give everything to life. Um, I'm really going to try. Uh, I'm gonna. I was unemployed at the time. I'm gonna do a career that I'm gonna go into a career that I'm that is fulfilling that I want to do that's rewarding. Um, I'm gonna push myself to do YouTube videos like this, public speaking, everything like. I'm gonna do everything I possibly can think of and break through fear to do that. Anyway, back to the point on alcohol. So after that, being in 2019. Um, so it was Jan 2022, sorry, Jan 2023 that I gave up. So it's four years on from that point. And I'd done certain things. So I'd quit that job um, that I was originally in, become a personal trainer. And this was like the next thing on the list to do because I'd gone through my life. I'd quit social media. I'd had a detox. I was healthy. Um, diet like, was on point exercising this was just the next step so um i thought right let's, let's just do it I, I tried it before um little stints like do it for two or three months and they'd always come social social situation would come about and i wouldn't have the balls to say to my mates i don't want to drink and then i thought fuck it you only live once right let's just try it and do it and the original bit so that's obviously why I want to lead on to what I learned from it. The original bit, that's the heart, the original, the most important point of learning and the most difficult thing about quitting alcohol 
is the, the questions that you get when you initially give up. So going out, like people that would you, you'd usually drink around would say like, is everything all right? Like they'd think that there's something wrong. They'd, um, they wouldn't take it well for me anyway at first. They'd think like, oh, like we're going to miss out on all this fun that we had before, all these memories, all these times, like he's going to be serious when we're out. That wasn't the case. And I suppose if you've got mates like that, they're not really mates. They're just drinking partners. So that's something important that I've learned as well that it's really made me think who are my true friends and who really want the best for me which is it's nice to find that out and in some ways it, it isn't but it's, it's definitely a realization moment um so but after you get through that initial probably first three to four months um of, of going out having those conversations with friends and family explaining why you've given up and that you've given up for good um, in my case, then they sort of that becomes your identity. So it's not such a thing of like, oh, when you're going to drink again? Those questions. It's you're known for being you. You don't drink, and those questions fizzle out. And then once you've gone through that point, people start to like think it's quite admirable, and and then you meet new people, and then you say like, they're like, oh, what are you drink? And you explain alcohol free. Like I don't drink. And then when that's when that's become your identity and like I say, when you meet new people, all of a sudden, you, if anyone's quit and they're watching this video um, or anyone that's thinking of it that wants to know, you have these conversations with people when you're out. You explain that you don't drink and you'll always get from them as they're holding like a glass of wine or a pint of beer, oh, I don't drink much either. I don't quite quite sort of know why people do this, but I don't know if it's because people feel guilty or they think that they should be quitting themselves, but it's definitely something like you'll find out. Um, so that there, there are a couple of points that I learned. Um, I thought going into it, like my sleep would improve, um, like fitness and lifestyle would. Uh, to be honest, I didn't necessarily notice a massive difference. Um, sleep for me is mainly impacted by what's going on in my mind. So like recently I was going for a busy time of work and I was struggling to sleep um, because I was waking up early, like thinking, what have I got to do? And then people would, um, I'd be thinking, right, I've got to do this, got to get that done. And I'd struggle to switch back off um, and then get back to sleep. But since hiring couple of full-time staff in my web design and SEO agency that's just that's taken that out it's allowed my mind to settle again so didn't experience any significant changes with sleep exercise arguably yes I mean since quitting I've run a marathon so that's something the first marathon maybe the last marathon I'll ever run but it's it's knowing in your head that you haven't got those hangovers to set you back and that's great for exercise, it's great for anything else in life because you're thinking, where do I want to get to? Okay, there's there's less obstacles in the way to get there now. Obviously, some things in life are out of your control, like um, relationship-wise or, or drama or situations that, that you can kind of... What I'm trying to say is that alcohol minimises those things which could which could block you from getting where you want to or be a hurdle, or slow you down. Okay, what else did I learn? So that's sleep, exercise. Obviously there's the health, one of the health benefits, but and less things to get in the way of your success. Um, what else did I learn? Stuck. The other one, obviously, is that you realise who your true friends are. Right, that's that. That's, that's probably everything that I learned. They're the most important points. Would I recommend it? Yes. Um, not that there's anything wrong with drinking or drinking a little bit here and there, but absolutely, I'd recommend it. Just give it a go. Just, just after watching this video, go. If you if you are interested, if you've been thinking about it for a long time, just go fuck it, like, this is the excuse, this is your video to quit. 
it took me um, probably three or four people that were inspiration for me. And I always said when I quit drinking, I hope that I can inspire just one person to quit. And it's turned out that I think there's been two at the moment. Not many, but I mean, especially I think the way the world's moving with more alcohol free options in shops, obviously there's a high demand for it, otherwise they wouldn't be selling it. But you see, um, it's, it's a similar sort of thing with smoking. I, I, I expect in maybe 20, 30 years, it'll become out of fashion. Our kids will be like, oh, our parents, sm- um, not smoked, our parents were drinkers. It's not cool anymore. Like, do we really want to do that? So I hope it's going that way. We'll see. Um, and the final thing, would I recommend it? Sorry, I said that. Would I recommend it? Of course, yes. Just said that. I'm reading off. I'm doing this unscripted, unedited. I've literally got four questions written down, by the way. I'm trying to just do raw, authentic videos. I hope you appreciate it. The last one is, will I continue it? I mentioned this a little bit earlier. Yes, that, that's me done now. Like, I think in my head, knowing that rather than going, I'm going to do this for three months, knowing that this is this is me now, I've quit. Um, yeah, there's no, nothing to hold back. One of the things, it's just a bit fun really that I say, is that I want to be the oldest person to ever live. So obviously alcohol isn't going to help towards that. But um, yeah, I'll be, this, is, this is me. Um, I've built up this identity now. It's easier for me to go out. I enjoy it. I enjoy going out more, which is a surprising thing. Um, because you, you're thinking when you're going out, you're, you're focused. Like those conversations you had, you're putting your best self forward. You're not going to get the hangovers. You're going to make fun, happy memories, hopefully. And you're, you're going to obviously remember them because the alcohol's not going to take those away from you but yeah i'll continue it like i say i hope i can inspire just one of you leave a comment if you're thinking of giving up and you if you just fancy a chat i'll reply to i do reply to all of my comments thanks for watching and speak to you guys soon